with Sarah and I'm gonna be top dotting this chakra eye I don't know these are the colors of the chakra the seven chakra and I just felt like doing this on camera so here I go I'm gonna start from the inside and work my way out and I'm gonna make a brown eye because I feel like the rest of it has so much color and what I've chosen to use are, oh, I need yellow. I'm going to use my yellow for the very inside. And these are gloss enamel or, well, not all. I'm going to use some metallic bronze, oh, copper. Actually, bronze would look better. My favorite, burnt sienna. This is a satin coffee bean brown. And then the peach is going to be used for the eye lid. So I don't need that yet. Let's start from the inside out. So first thing I'm going to do is get some yellow. And let me think. Do I want to put yellow because yellow is out here? <sighs> I'm going to use some... Yeah, I think I am, even though it's there. See, I've done it before. I did a couple of different shaped ones. Um, and, I mean, the yellow does kind of... Hmm, what other color? I could just use a really light brown instead of the yellow. I'll be right back. Hello, it's Sarah. And I'm back to top dot this chakra eye that's what I'm calling it I'm gonna do I'm gonna start the inside out and I just put out some marigold and that actually looks pretty good so I'm gonna grab a stylus a little bigger than that and start dotting so let me come in and let's watch this come together shall we all right I was going to use yellow. I've done a couple of smaller ones. I just don't want to rest my hand too heavily on these. They're pretty dry. I let them dry, put them under a fan. Uh, anyway, I used the same yellow, my, my gloss yellow, um, that I used for the yellow chakra color. So, I decided to change it, of course, and um, I went with, because I'm making a brown eye, I'm going to, I, I chose marigold instead of that bright yellow, and that way it's not the same. Like, I mean, it looks fine. I did a couple of them in a big in smaller sizes, but because it's so big, I just didn't feel like having it um, because it would really on the bigger one it's really gonna stand out. And I think this will still look pretty on a brown eye. I went to see my my grand niece today, Catalina. And she has brown eyes. Oh, that was so crooked. I gotta focus. I've been at this all day. And I kind of want to take that off. I'm just gonna push it like that and then I can... Okay. Um, so yeah, not everyone has pretty blue or green or colorful eyes. Um, so I decided to do some brown. Then the next color I'm going to use is my favorite burnt sienna. I only have this brown. It's a satin coffee bean and I'm going to do that on the outside. But I love burnt sienna. It's a little bit of a reddish brown. So I'm just going to play and see what these colors look like. I almost wanted to use this quinacridone. Here it is. Nickel Azo, and I don't know what it would look like on here, but I, I, it's kind of, let me just put some out. I just want to see what it looks like. Ooh, that is a yummy color. But I've never dotted with it, so let me just put a little bit on here real quick and see what it looks like in a dot form. 
it surely does look brown hard to see I think I think the um, burnt sienna will show up a little better and so just for today man I'm tempted I don't know this is one of the um, where did I just put it oh lord here it is a mixture light fastness conforms to something or other see I think it's kind of sheer it's a fluid acrylic but in a dot I think I'm gonna use it see this is what happens I just on the fly I had this all planned out I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna because I just stirred um, shook that up real nice I'm gonna use it right here this guy because this next set of dots this this two rows so let's see I think I might need my little okay Ooh. wow I don't know about this it is kind of seeming like it's um it's not opaque or something like can you see that am I got to move over a tiny bit. Okay, good. I just forget where the camera is and I get so... Oops. I really don't want to cover all of the under dotting. And so I just need to have a little bit of a gentle touch. And we'll see what it looks like. We shall see. Oops. I think it's going to look just fine, though. I mean, I haven't used my golden fluid acrylic. Oh, this is a golden color, actually, but I have a lot of the DecoArt here, these. The DecoArt Media fluid acrylics. That happens to be a golden fluid acrylic. And um, sometimes making dots is better when the paint is really fluid like that. I'm just going to go down in size to my biggest dotting tool. I might need to put out some more paint. And I just keep kind of piling the paint on. I'm going to I have to pull my camera over a little bit. There we go. I'm sorry. There we go. That way I don't have to lean forward too much. But I can keep kind of putting it down and it drops off. I think this is going to be pretty. It's kind of um, a very similar color to uh, my favorite old burnt sienna. I'm just not sure of the, like, the properties of it. If it's going to come out sheer or if it'll stay opaque or... I think I'm going to have to put a little bit more out. And then the next row is going to be some, I think it's copper by um, Martha Stewart. Just a row of copper and then another row of brown. I had to go bigger with this design because the eyes were just too small in the other ones and ooh, I really like seeing all the detail. There's a lot of black showing on the center here so I'll probably put some um, tiny little dots to fill in that area. So I already filled in a little bit, and I'm gonna first. I'm gonna go to the um, copper. This is a Martha Stewart color, and some of them are thicker than others. And I have been using the. Ooh, that looks pretty good actually. But I've been using this, the um, pouring medium, to mix into the paint to get it to. Supposedly, it keeps the intensity of color. Um, but it dilutes it to make it less um, stiff. You get it? Because you don't want to have 
uh, Hershey Kisses, which is what I've gotten a lot. Is this small enough? Let's see. Oh dear. For some reason, I just decided to put a ring around the eye. Um, I said it in my last video, but I don't know if I'm going to post it because it's so long. Whoopsie. <gasps> oh no, I kind of want to take that off. Um, my Uncle Mike, um, he used to uh, tease us and tell us that he could see through walls because he had these black flat or kind of like dark yeah there were dark brown flecks in his eyes oh dear oh boy okay I don't really want to mess it up anyway it just made me think of him when I did this he was fun for a kid he always oh dear I'm just okay let me get around it I might I could possibly put some black in there to not have that um, messy metallic uh, but I think once it's done you won't notice that little spot I mean I can kind of see it now but once all the dots are on there those things kind of they don't pop out to me as much once all the but I'm liking this one. I probably won't do any more eyes for the moment. I did do a dragon's eye that I'd like to play with maybe a couple more times because um, it. I got it there. I want to make his again the eyeball bigger and play with like maybe the shape. Kind of. I was kind of making it like my polymer clay dragon's eyes. I was trying to paint it. Where'd it go? Oh, right here. So, you see it has like those spikes and stuff. And I, I just kept changing the color to get it to look like layers on a lizard or whatever. But I want to make the eyeball bigger. So I'll, maybe I'll make one more of those. But, um, I still have um, a project that I need to make a pattern for. All right, now let me think. All right, that's it for that. I'm just going to keep going with the browns right now, and then I'll fill in with any of the smaller ones. But this whole, this is where the brown ends, over here. So I'm going to go into... I really hope I don't fling the bottle, because... Now that's really thick. I'm going to add some of the, um, let me just move it over a little. This was really thick. I'm just going to add a few drops of, and I'm going to stir it around. It is what? Pouring medium, they call it. And I've never done a, acrylic pouring, so I'm not exactly sure what you do with that, but I think you can get your paint much thinner and keep the value of or the intensity of the um, pigment intact without you know but all I want to do is make a dot that doesn't look like a Hershey kiss so I'm shooting for that now let's see I'm gonna need a decent sized let's go with the red let's see yep I think I'll mm, let's see Good. It just flattened out. See, it rounded out. It didn't stay as a Hershey kiss. That is what I'm looking to do, you guys. So, having that's what dotting is teaching me is that I'm a corner cutter, and I know that about myself, but it works sometimes. And it's, it's good because you can, you know, get your desired result quicker sometimes. But the thing is, if you're not getting the desired result, meaning it's not looking right, 
what's the point of cutting corners? I gotta do the work to get it to where I want it to be. So mixing that pouring medium and being patient is part of the process and I gotta embrace it, accept it and in the long run I'll be happier because of it. Now looking at these colors together, that quinacridone, whatever, whatever it was called, I might have been, I don't know if I'm liking that color as much. Um, it is what it is. And I think the eyeball is going to be popping. I'm going to go down and, oops, into the small, my blue crochet hook. These are chrysolite um, by Kathy, no, not Kathy Bates, Susan Bates. It's Kathy Bates' sister. I don't know if it's not. Um, and they are um, red, like, what is it, red rose or something? Anyway, just Google acrylic. Susan Bates acrylic um, on Amazon or whatever or Google and it, these will come up. I got there's two sets of them. I got the small. Actually, I got mine at Joann's and it was a while ago. So I haven't been in Joann's since the pandemic, probably. Anywho, um, they don't have them at Hobby Lobby because I did recently check there so that I could tell you guys, but. Um, these have a flat bottom and that's it's better for making dots because you can put the piece down you can put the crochet hook right there oh I'm trying not to on the surface and it makes a perfect circle so that's my brown eye I think it looks pretty groovy I kinda like it I do I'm going to go to white. Well, you know what? I should probably do all those little things. But I'm going to do white. Let's just get the white on. I really don't have to mix this. It's a pretty good consistency. These satins are pretty good. What size crochet hook did I use for this? Okay. And again, the bigger the crochet hook, the bigger the dot, I have trouble getting it to flatten out. That has been the story. So once I get these big guys down here, I'm just going to take, um, going to coax it to kind of come down a little and not leave a, a point. Yeah, that, that worked. I'm going to stick with this guy for a minute and do these other so you got to fill it up real good yeah I'm not an expert at the big dots yet I have a problem getting them to huh you are not being cooperative with little white paint. I think you can pile the paint on a little thicker too and then you'll have a better chance that it'll um, get rounded for you. So I am going to again just take this dotting tool and coax it. Actually that doesn't look too bad. Putting more paint on it made it look rounder. Then I'm going to use this guy that I'm gonna put more paint out it's just better if you have a little bit of a deeper puddle um, that's what I'm finding then if you're just using see look that's a lot that's a nice okay now I can't really put the whole thing down there we go I think a bubble there was a bubble and then one over here I really don't want to cover the back 
that. I did the whole thing first with buttermilk. And now I'm just adding the top dots to it. It just made it easier for me to put the whole design on there and then I can kind of take my time adding the color. And I just fill in with whatever size fits. So don't, it's not like an exact science for me so far where I know what tool to use where. So you can do this with any type of dotting tools you have. You just fill in, oops, I could have used the blue, maybe I'll use the blue. Um, I also need to put a brown up there. All right, there's a nice one. And that is the lid. I have to switch to a different, um, but I just noticed that there's a pretty decent sized brown one that I missed. So I'm gonna come back here and grab, which you guys probably see, what, like when I do the video, when I play it back, sometimes I'll catch things but when I, by the time I put it up on YouTube, I always see it. And I'm like, oh boy, they're going to see that I missed that. Sometimes you tell me you're so good to me. Um, see, it's starting to come together. Let's go up. That's basically it, really. I just got to put the eyelid. I'm going to put all these little dots. And, um call it a night because I'm tired. I've been at this a while today. I'm going to need to stretch. My back gets tired sitting here because I'm kind of leaning forward. It's not like a comfortable um, way to go. With. Now, the only thing I'm wondering is if I should add like little dots in there. Look, I'm going to add, where's the quinacridone? Because this quinacridone, let me shake it up. There's definitely some like um, buttermilk dots there that I'm going to go over. So I have this small, so here's what I'm talking about. Like, um, I might need a much, I do, I need the little tiniest, tiny, little tiniest, tiny I need. Okay, so tiniest, tiny and pop some oh dear a little shaky just trying to at least get it somewhat on top of that Boy, that was crooked. I, you know, I can't really chat to you guys because um, this takes a lot of focus. But I'm able to make three dots kind of sort of per dunk with this tiny little stylus. If I, if I scoop it, I kind of scoop. I go in and all right, so that's all of the quinacridone. Now, there are still some little dots that I can make with the dark brown. And you see all these? So this, some of these are white and some are brown, but I'm going to make the brown ones brown. Oh, there's a couple of big ones. Like this is eyelid. This is not. This is not, that's brown. Um, this is not, that is eyelid. Um, I think this is not, 
about his eyelid. This is not, it's not anymore. Anywho, should I, I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to come back when it's all done. I'll do the eyelid. I'll be right back. All right, I think I'm done, you guys. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Let's see. I think I got everything. And, you know, the quinacridone, I'm not sure if I love it or if I made the right decision, but it's a brown eye for sure. I'm going to put my little highlights on my eyeball, the little pupil. I'm just going to put, and I don't know if this is what they're supposed to look like, but I'm putting a white dot there. And then I'm going to put two little white dots down there. And that's my chakra eye. I like it. And I could top dot it further. I could put pearlescent paint on there. But I think that the um, the gloss is, is what I'm going for. Um, you know, the only paint that's on here, literally, I think the only one that isn't either a satin or a gloss is the, um, what is it? the marigold that I used on the inside ring and that's it I like it alright you guys um I'll be back thanks for watching